The sundial was invented somewhere between 5000 and 3500 BC. Being one of the first sources to ever able to tell time, the sundial uses the position of the sun to tell the relative time throughout the day. Throughout history, many ancient civilizations have used this as a prime source to tell what time and date it is throughout their lifespan. The Deerfield Academy sundial is a horizontal dial, which means the lines that means there are lines of longitude on the dial versus having lines of latitude. The sundial is specific to its location and cannot move anywhere but here because if moved, the time would not match up and up and the tip of the dial would not point directly at the North Star, which in return would supply you with false information. The Deerfield Academy sundial was installed in the summer of 2012 by Will Andrews. Does anybody know what time it is? No idea, I left my phone back in the dorm. Look, here's the sundown. Let's check it out. Does anyone know how to use this thing? No clue. No worries. Build by the science guard. So you want to learn about this sundown? It can tell you the time. All you have to do is know how it works. We have the nominal, and here is the time as it is visually displayed. As you can see, here are the countries in the relative list of the world. See the US here? And Europe? Here is South America? And here is Africa. And as you look, this is pointed to the North Star. So, and this, as you can see, on the sundial is the Earth. And this is the North Pole. It takes the angle from the uh, Earth's surface to the North Star to get the right angle. So when you get the shadow, and you see where it casts down on the sundial, you can see what time it is. Why don't we go to my lab and we'll uh, figure this out a little more in more detail. Bill Nye the Science Guy! Bill Nye the Science Guy! Explain a little more with this image. As we've seen before, we've got the sundial here, and in, we've got the whole shadow pole. And with the shadow that it creates from the sun, you see the time. And as the sun, through the day, you know, in the summer it's yeah. a little lower. Winter, uh, oh, winter it actually it's a little lower. Right. And it changes over the year, and during the day. When this sundial, when the sun is moving in the sky, the shadow will change just like the sun changes because the earth is rotating, which is very important. And we see the importance of the sundial, and it gives us the huge global image that I really love about these sundials. Wait, wait, wait. What's this little bead ball thing? Oh, so glad you asked. The gnomon here tells you what part of the year it is. Because during the summer, as I said, the sun is a little higher than in the winter, so the shadow will hit at a different angle on the sundial. So as we saw the Tropic of Cancer, in the middle of the summer, the, the Noman will be exactly on the Tropic of Cancer Unlike for that one day. And as we go further into the summer, it will go ahead and go back. Because the sun isn't rising as high, the Noman shadow will be out here. So you think I could take this uh, sundial back to, back to New York with me this summer? Well, the sundial outside is made specifically for that exact location. So if you were to change and take that sundial out to your house, to anywhere, to California, to Thailand, anywhere, it would not, it just wouldn't work. It's made exactly to be pointed to the pole from that from the spot it is in, and it has the latitude and longitude marks on the sundial to tell you exactly where you are in the, in the world. And just all of this, all where the sun is, over time, the sundial has to stay there. Uh, so Bill, doesn't the, uh, the Nomon show where it's solar noon around the world? Oh yes, how, how do you know? Aren't I a great teacher? 
But do you have any questions about this? Yeah, I was wondering uh, what happens on daylight savings time. Oh yeah, well, the, because the sundial shows the solar time, but daylight saving time in America, you add an hour. Uh, in the fall, you fall back. In the spring, you spring forward an hour. So after that day in the spring, you add an hour. But if it's after that day, you add an hour to the solar time that you see on the sundial. And if it's after the day in the fall, you take back that hour. Okay, let's go, guys.